here in the i button and in description box will get complete playlist of laplace transform okay now i welcome you to video number 4 of this laplace transform and in this video we are going to solve we are going to prove two important formula that is first is uh, to prove laplace transform of sin a t is equals to a upon s square plus a square and the second proof that we are going to uh, uh, solve is laplace transform of cos a t is equals to s upon s square plus a square okay both in both proof we will uh, take use of definition of uh, uh, general formula of laplace transform that is uh, La uh, Laplace transform f of t is equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into f of t gt okay by taking help of this uh, uh, basic formula okay in general formula of Laplace transform we are going to prove this part and the second part okay in this video only okay so let us start first is we need to prove that is Laplace transform of sine a t is equals to a upon s square plus a square. Okay. So we know by the definition of Laplace transform we have that is Laplace of f of t is equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus s t into f of t dt. Okay. Yes. Here f of t is what? Sine a t. Okay. So we, have, we can write f of t is equals to sine a t. Okay. So here f of t will become sin at. Okay. Therefore, Laplace transform sin at is equal to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into sin at dt. Okay. Now we are going to use a very specific formula. Okay. To solve this integration, that is integration of e to the power at into sin b t is equal into dt is equal to e to the power at upon a square plus b square. Okay. Into a sin b t minus b cos b t. Okay. If you compare this with this you will see a is what minus s and b is what a okay now solving this integration part that is yes e to the power at upon a square plus b square okay here it will become e to the power minus st upon s square plus a square okay now coming to this part that is a sine bt will become minus s into sine at because a is what minus s and b is what a okay here it will become minus s into sin a t minus b cos b t that is a cos a t okay a cos a t because value of b is what a okay so we have by using this formula we have solved this integration okay limit is from 0 to infinity okay don't forget to put limit okay that is 0 to infinity fine yes now <coughs> putting limit okay uh, this upper limit we will put infinity in place of this limit okay zero or infinity port limit we will put in place of t okay because this integration was with respect to t only okay so in place of t put infinity will get e, e to the power minus infinity and we know that e to the power minus infinity is what zero okay e to the power minus infinity is what zero okay so here we can say e to the power minus infinity will become zero to zero into anything will become zero okay so upper limit minus lower limit okay upper limit minus lower limit upper limit minus lower limit okay now putting 0 in place of t okay this will become e to the power 0 okay e to the power 0 upon s square plus a square fine now coming to this part okay minus s into sin a t put 0 in place of t this will become sin 0 okay sin 0 is what 0 so minus s into 0 will become 0 okay minus this part that is a cos 0 okay we will put 0 in place of t so cos 0 is what 1 okay so a into 1 will become a okay now this is 0 and this is 1 so since here it is my negative part so we can write this as minus 1 and here it is minus a so minus 1 into minus a will become positive a upon s square plus a square so finally we have proved this first part that is sine a t laplace transform of sine a t is what a upon s square plus a square okay now coming to second part that is we need to prove that is laplace of cos a t laplace of cos a t is equals to what s upon s square plus a square okay yes again by taking uh, the help of definition of laplace transform we have that is laplace of f of t is equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into f of t dt okay now if you compare this with this we have f of t is what cos a t okay here we have f of t equals to cos a t okay now 
put cos 80 in place of f of t that is therefore laplace of cos 80 equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t is what cos 80 dt okay now again we are taking a different formula to solve this part this integration that is yes integration e to the power 80 into cos bt dt equals to e to the power 80 upon a square plus b square into a cos bt plus b sin bt here it is cos so this is cos this is sin and here it is positive okay if you compare this with the above formula that is sin part then since here it is sin so first sin then cos with negative sign okay sign means sign minus cos okay but in case of cos we have cos plus sign okay yes remember by this way or your own way okay it doesn't matter fine now solving this part that is if you compare this with this you'll find a is what minus s a is minus s okay and b is what b is a okay so this will become integration e to the power minus st into cos at dt will become yes integration sorry e to the power minus st okay here it is a t in place of a we are going to write minus s so it here it will become e to the power minus st upon a square plus b square is minus s square that is s square plus a square that is a square okay now bracket open a cos bt a is what minus s cos b is what a t okay now plus b sin b t what is b that is that is a so a sin a t okay fine now we need to put limit that is 0 to infinity don't forget to put limit okay that is 0 to infinity fine now solving this infinite this uh, limit part that is if you put infinity in place of t okay that is upper limit in place of t you will find this will become e to the power minus infinity okay and we know that e to the power minus infinity is what zero okay so on putting this infinity in place of t this will become e to the power minus infinity and we know that e to the power minus infinity is equal to zero so this zero into anything will become zero okay now upper limit minus lower limit lower limit is what zero put zero in place of t you will get e to the power zero okay upon s square plus a square okay yes now coming to this part that is minus s into put 0 in place of t that is cos 0 cos 0 will, will be 1 so minus s into 1 will become minus s okay plus a into sin a t put this 0 in place of t will get sin 0 equal to 0 okay sin 0 equal to 0 a into 0 will become 0 okay i hope this part is clear to you okay now if you see this is 0 minus e to the power 0 that is 1 1 upon s square plus a square into here it is only minus s so here it is minus 1 here it is minus s minus 1 into minus s will become will become plus s so plus s upon s square plus a square so finally we get this second part that is laplace of cos a t is what sin s sorry s upon s square plus a square and we have proved this. Okay. Thank you so much.